Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Today, we will discuss about the anatomy of radius. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Talking about the parts of radius, it has 3 parts. The proximal end, the shaft, and the distal end. Let's see them. So this is the proximal end, this is the shaft, and this is the distal end. Let's discuss what anatomical structures these parts have. Taking the proximal end first, the first anatomical structure is the head of the radius. It is disc shaped and it has a superior articular facet, which is concave and articulates with the capitulum of humerus. Let's see it. So this is the head, which has a concave articular facet. The next part is the articular circumference. It is present around the head of the radius and it fits into a notch formed by ulna and the annular ligament. The third anatomical structure is the neck of the radius. It is present just below the head of the radius and it is constricted region. And the fourth anatomical structure is the radial tuberosity. It lies just below the medial part of the neck. Let's have a look at all the parts present in the proximal end. This is the concave head of radius. This is the area surrounding the head, that is the articular circumference. This area below the head is the neck of radius. This area in the circle is the radial tuberosity. And lastly, there is an oblique line present. Talking about the next part, it is the shaft of radius. It has three borders and three surfaces. That is, the anterior border, the posterior border, and the medial interosseous border. And about the surfaces, the anterior surface, the posterior surface, and the lateral surface. Let's have a look at the borders. This is the medial interosseous border, which is sharp. This line, which you can see, is the anterior border. And this border is the lateral border. The last part of the radius is the distal end. It is the widest part of this bone and it has three parts. First is the ulnar notch. It is present on the medial side of the distal end. The second is the radial styloid process, which is present on the lateral surface of the distal end. And third part is the carpal articular surface. The inferior surface of the bone bears the carpal articular surface for both scaphoid and lunate bones. Let's have a look at all the parts in the distal end. This downward and outward projecting process is the radial styloid process. The area in the medial end has this notch called as the ulnar notch. And this is the carpal articular surface that articulates with the scaphoid and lunate bone. So this image depicts the palm with the radius and ulna bone. There are two positions for it. The first is the pronation. And this is the pronation position, where you have the dorsal side of the palm. The second position is the supination position. It is the position where you have the ventral side of the palm. So that is it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and also follow us on Instagram.